Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for another minifigure Monday and this week it's the Series 21 Centaur Warrior. Now Ian refers to her as Centaur Lady. She obviously doesn't look fierce enough that he would assume she's a warrior, but she does have a bow and arrow. So, you know, he probably should have thought about that. He asked me whether this was a unique body. So, just in case you can't see all the junk in her trunk. Um, she does definitely have quite a different body to a normal minifigure and he thought maybe that there were similar bodies in Harry Potter sets because they have I think centaurs so let's give her a quick spin around so you can see her all together she comes with the bow and arrow and the apple I don't know if she's using that for target practice or whether she's just eating that because she's a horse and you know they quite like apples don't they um, but it's a red apple which is quite a nice one so let's take off a few of her pieces just completely drop her on the floor. Okay, so the bit that Ian quite liked was the fact that you can hook the quiver over her back half because putting it on her actual back um, would be very difficult with that hair that goes over it and the fact that the body would be in the way. Ian says she's got good printing because, you know, she's got arm printing and that is always great it's no leg printing but you wouldn't really expect that with these legs i like her hair i think her hair is actually quite similar to mine although she's obviously better styled than me one thing I, we did notice is that the hair does not match the tail which was a, an odd choice i don't know if they should have made those match or maybe that's to make it clearer that it's a sort of two-parted kind of minifigure the torso, Ian reckons that this leaf seems very Adam and Eve-y, kind of like it's covering up something, but that's just its tummy. And also the printing on it also looks kind of like antlers, which is weird because she's not got antlers. She's not that. She's half horse, not half deer. There's no articulation in the legs. They don't move at all, so she's always in this pose, unlike some of the Lego horses where you can move those about. The quiver falls off quite often and so if I can just show you underneath so the jaw molding is very obvious and I don't think that's a problem but Ian thought that was a little bit weird how how obvious that they've made that but I don't think you're going to be looking that way very often and um, she does have an alternative head I picked her up because she's much hold, harder to hold and um, she doesn't really attach to my stand very well so she's very freckly and a bit happier there but yeah and the back doesn't really have much detail, which is fine, because you're going to cover it up anyway with that. So I think she looks pretty decent. So the question is, where in my city will we put her? Uh, she is kind of a mythical being, so I'm not 100% sure we've allowed mythical beings into our city. But I think if she's going in, she's going to end up in like the forest area. I think that's kind of where I expect these to be. And I think she'll fit in quite well because of her colouring and the fact that she's a horse. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the centaur warrior. Uh, no, and does she seem very warriory? Warriory. That's a very hard word to say. I think she just seems quite friendly. I think if you take away her bow and arrow, she seems fine. So also, if you like minifigures, don't forget to check out the rest of our minifigure Monday playlist, which I'll link up at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.